so excited to be here in the ninth month the ninth month is the night of hope it's a month where every expectation is expected to become a testimony so it's a month where you will happen you will happen this month all that the lord has said about you that have been pending somewhere will find answers in your life this month i'd like you to rise to your feet if i understand the, the ninth month it's a season that changes everything for us here it's a season of miracles and all I'm hearing is the sound of miracles. Somebody visited us yesterday. And they said, how did you expand this cathedral? Everything looks so new. Now your road is very wonderful. I've been away from here for a long time. In fact, every week when I just feel boy, I will come into this cathedral. It's like heaven. And I said, we didn't expand anything. God only made it more beautiful. There will be some old things around you that you are even tired of. That you wake up this month and you will see that they have become new. May the Lord put a new garment upon your life. I didn't hear a living amen. Everything in you, around you, within you, shall begin to look new. 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 In the name of Jesus. In addition to the prayer shared by Pastor Abraham, I'd like us to just do three, these three, four prayers. Lord, in this ninth season, give me a destiny changing encounter. Open your mouth and pray. Legeba pa yagada. I need a destiny changing encounter. I need an experience that will really define my life. A destiny changing encounter in my spiritual life. A destiny changing encounter in my marital life, a destiny changing encounter in my business and career life, a destiny changing encounter. Lord, I ask for a destiny changing encounter by miracles, by super intervention. By orchestration of grace, it happened to Anna, it happened to the man at the beautiful gate, the night hour, the hour of miracle, the hour of God visitations and intervention. Lord, a destiny changing encounter. I will engage you, Lord, you will be found in my spirit. I will engage you, Lord. You'll be found in my house. I will engage you, Lord. And you will lay your hand upon my house. A destiny changing encounter. A no shigedea. Rabba papa purraba kosalia paladia kata. Rikitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekitekit
you can begin to pray the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Genesis 21. And the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. Every word the Lord has said to you during the convention. The night mode shall be your season of encounter on those words. Every word God has pronounced upon your life on January to this time. The night mode is the night time. That is when pregnancy shall be delivered. You shall manifest your words. In the name of Jesus. And the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. Sarah was so old. One of the greatest expectations of her life was to have a child but she became so old at 89 at 89 she had an encounter just an encounter because i'm going to tell you that whatever has refused to work contrary to your expectation will work this month are we here because once the man and the woman is where god has planted them heaven will open over them as long as you are where god has positioned you and you are not just trying to do your own things. Heaven shall open unto you this month. Are we here? Where was God all this while? But suddenly, the Bible said, and God visited Sarah as he has spoken to Sarah in Genesis 18. Within one year. And God did to Sarah as he has spoken, as he has promised Sarah. This shall be your boat of word encounter. It shall be your season of manifestation of the words of God in your life. It shall be your season of visitation. Can you pray say, God, remember your promises to my life. Remember your words to my life. Your words of possibilities. And visit me in the night mode. 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 And begin to take the glory. Visit me, oh God. Remember me, visit me. Remember me, visit my house. Remember me, visit my wife. Remember me, visit my husband. Remember me, visit my children. Remember me, visit my financial. Lord, remember your word. Uh, Father, visit me. Lenapa. Ragadagaya. Ekakaka. Ragadaga. Lagada, 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 Ekapata Cha Yaga, Ramatusa Kata Yagada.
Pray like someone that is ready. Pray your life into the night season. Pray your life into your miracles. Pray your house into your miracles. Legaba. Eka no shagada. Go ahead and bless in the Holy Ghost. Malande legede. Erara para nagede. Inano kapaya. Iranya kapaya gada. Enane kasalada. Iladadia parana nokara. Ledia parana nokata. Eka zunege. Linege katu. Ura parana kosa. Ela paya lata kokapa. Ledege ramato sata yagara. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Somebody came to convention in the Bible time. And after so much embarrassment and mockery, she knelt before the altar of the Lord and they had the personal prayer before God. He said to God, I am your handmaid. Don't forget me. Remember me. Do to me what you have been doing to other people. That was the prayer of Anna. He said, come to God. You made me well. I am the work of your hand. Even when the priest was confused, the way he was praying. He said, I'm not, I'm not drunk. I'm a woman under sorrow. God, who made me, appear to have forgotten me. I am the handmaid of God. Everything made by God has a future. You have a future in God. I want you to pray and say, Remember me as your handmaid and do to my life those things that shall honor your name in this night season. Lord, remember me as your handmaid and do unto me those things that will honor your name, those things that will magnify your name, those things that will glorify your name, those things that will exalt your name, those things that will magnify your name. Remember me and my heart, remember me and car, remember me and face me, remember me and touch me, remember me and reset me, remember me and reposition me, remember me and manifest your glory in my life, in my heart, in my family, and that's nice, sister. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Lift up your hands to heaven. It's good to start the month like this. Remember? Next week, Tuesday. The morning showers will begin just like this. Short time with God. Great experience. Now remember this. In the night season. I ask God of heaven who govern and rule the earth to remember you and this house for an encounter for an encounter every area of life where you need an encounter to enter your next level God will give you an encounter I pray on you and myself Hope delayed, make it is so sick. Every hanging promises of God, hanging appointments of God, hanging dreams and expectations from God that appear undefinable. In this night hour, the Lord shall reconnect with your life. He shall visit your house. He shall visit your name. In the name of Jesus. Wheresoever you appear to have been forgotten. 
I know you didn't send yourself to this world. Everyone sent was sent on a mission. You are an agent of God on a mission to the earth. Dear Lord, our fathers, strong and mighty is your name. Lord, if you don't remember us, who will remember us? And when you remember us, who can forget us? Father, anyhow, may your mercy enforce our remembrance. Break all the protocols of heavens and rebuild all the policies of heaven and command our remembrance on the earth for our manifestations in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands to heaven and bless the name of the Lord. I know you are faithful. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Somebody blessed? Can we give Jesus a clap of praise? Uh, um, I want to I want to bring to your mind one greatest experience in the Bible time where a woman who was mocked by her mates mocked Saul for a cause that is not her own. She was so mocked and ridiculed that what was just remaining was for them to take life of her body. Mockery is very painful. When you find yourself at the state of mockery, you will be so sorrowful. If you meet those who have been mocked by life, you will understand what I'm talking about. You see, mockery can attract sympathy. Mockery can attract human consolations. But only God can remove the garment of mockery. And turn it to garment of praise. The more people come to pet you and then console you where you have a state of mockery, the more they mock you and the more life mock you. This month, I want you to believe God for your miracles. Refuse to be mocked. In fact, don't see yourself as a mocker. Neither Give yourself to the, you know, yield yourself to the demand of mockers. All you need to do is to believe in whom God has made you. And to return back to God. To put to work those things in you and around you that are refused to work. Now you know the story of Anna in First Samuel chapter 1. I want to read from verse 11. From verse 9. So Anna rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh. And after they had drunk. Now Eli the priest sat upon a seat by a post of the temple of the Lord. Verse 10. And she was in bitterness of soul. Don't be comfortable. Don't be comfortable. At a time, you need to be provoked and pray. She got offended with her condition. She got encrossed with her state. Look at it there. And she was in bitterness of soul and prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. And wept sore. This should be a time in the night you rise up and say to God, enough of this. Do something about this. Whatsoever does not challenge you to approach God will keep you at the same state for a long time. Verse 11, because of time. And she vowed a vow as she was praying. She vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou will indeed look on the afflictions of thy handmaid, 
and remember me if you will look at the affliction of your handmaid and remember me and not forget thy handmaid but we give unto thy handmaid a man child a man child specific request she knows what she wanted a man child then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. And there shall no razor come upon his head. Verse 12. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. And, you know, Eli marked her mouth, which means Eli noticed her. You know what brings miracle in church? Like I was calling miracle, I saw some of you praying. I also saw those who are not praying. So if you were God, I would want to approach those that I saw praying. The press noticed. She was there when they began praying. She was kind of watching her. And in the course of time, she wasn't hearing her. But the woman went into the spirit. Holy Ghost had not come at that time. I was here. I began to groan. It began to groan in the spirit. She feels so, so, so consumed. That this is the day that God had to do something about her life, her state, her situation. Because he knew that what God cannot do does not exist. I, I will say here, it's going to be your approach this, this, this month. And it came to pass, as she continued praying before the Lord, that Eli marked her mouth. Now Anna, she spoke in her heart. Only her lips move. But her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drunken. And Eli said unto her, How long will thou be drunken? Put away thy wine from thee. And Anna answered and said, No, my Lord, I am a woman of sorrowful spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but have poured out my soul before the Lord. Can not thy handmaid for a daughter of Balia? For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. Then Eli answered and said, Go in peace. He must have said, My daughter. And the God of Israel grant thee thy petition that thou hast asked of him. That's the seal. That's the seal of the prayer. And she said, let thy handmaid find grace in thy sight. So the woman went her way and did eat, and her countenance was no more sad. You remember? She started praying with a bitter mind. But after the encounter, she went out with a very, you know, with, with, with a, a very great, graceful, graceful and rejoiceful heart. She couldn't remember her countenance anymore all right so this is what i wanted to get out of this stem verse 19 and they rose up in the morning early and worshiped before the lord and returned and came to their house to ramat look at what happened here and they kana knew hannah and a kana knew Anna, his wife, and the Lord remembered her. Has the other not know her before? Eh? That's what, that was what, caught, that what captured my attention this morning. They've been married for a long time. They have had wonderful experiences for a long time. But nothing worked. Every time they meet as husband and wife, to the extent that the woman became a mockery. But the Bible said, after this encounter, when they got back home, those things they've been doing without result, they did it again, and the condition changed. If you can capture what I'm trying to push here, you'll be fine. Our convention just ended. 
eight days were here with great men and women of God. We saw the rains of heaven pouring on us. There was nothing we asked the Lord for in the convention that did not grant to us. We believe him that the road will be ready before the convention they granted it. We believe him that the rain shall not fall during the convention they granted it. We believe him for massive attendance they granted it. We believe him that there shall be no incident, no accident they granted it. And we're here morning, afternoon, and night. Closing sometime after night 10. Getting home sometime late at night. It is now over. That was what brought Anna to Shiloh. This encounter was a Shiloh experience. How did you actually pray in the course of the convention? Did you bring to this altar a prayer request? Did you stand before this altar and make sacrifices? Did you stand before this altar and lifted your name before the Lord? Lifted your request before the Lord? It doesn't end with the convention. It is after the convention that the supplications of convention will begin to manifest. Hannah had a private time with God in the course of the convention. And when he got home, every area of her life, including her womb, her cells, her bones, everything in her that had died, Simply because the man of God said, let it be unto you as I have prayed unto the Lord. The husband has said to her earlier, don't I what to you more than ten sons? Am I complaining? But that is not the kind of comfort she needed. She needed a child. If you read further, she said, God, I don't just need a child. I need a male child. I made a vow that this child will serve you all the days of his life. As at this time, God was looking for who we take over from Eli. Because the children of Eli were not worthy. Okay, now a newborn child has to be born. Eli has to train the child. It means that Eli was not going to die immediately. Praise God. Eli had to enjoy some long life to be able to nurse the child, to bring the child up for the work to continue. But now, the woman who is going to bring this child has been buried and has been a mockery. When God wants to do a new thing, God looks for a channel. God looks for a vessel. In the ninth season, I see God doing a new thing on the earth. May he find you and me and our houses. In the ninth season, every area of your life that have expired, there shall be supernatural renewal. And as life was renewed, and as destiny was renewed, everything that expired and death came alive. May any and everything that appeared dead in your hand, dead on your leg, dead in your neck, come alive in the name of Jesus. And I said to you, what we've done from January till now that never worked. In the night season, someone shout in the night season. In the night moon, by the grace of God, He shall walk for me at my house. In the name of Jesus. God knew that Anna will fulfill all, all her vow. If you read further, you will see that. She even excused the husband from going to the next shiloh. Miracle kept her behind. To the extent that her friend must have been asking, where's Anna? Ah, God answered her prayer last year, so she couldn't come. She's not seeing miracles. It took only a space of one year. Only a space of one year. Everything she asked for came to pass. And she was so conscious of the vow she made. He told the husband, it's not yet time to return. The child has to be weaned, has to be strong enough. And when I tell the child to the house of God, the child will not return back. And the, child, the, the husband said, do unto you as it pleases you. So there was a perfect agreement. When a family comes into a perfect agreement, whatever is not working, we start working. In the new season, 
God shall restore unity to your house. Agreement in your prayers. Salvation shall break forth in your house. Your prayers shall be heard. All that you lay your hands upon shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. So I want to ask you. Your prayer request should not terminate with the convention. Keep reminding the Lord about those requests. The promises of God for your life during the convention by word impartation and encounter should not expire with the convention. Anna's post-convention experience was a full testimony. So I am seeing people here who in the next one year will have their destiny redefined. By miracle, your name shall change. By miracle, your status shall change. By miracle, your expectation shall be granted. By miracle, you become a solution to your generation. By miracle, you shall meet the demand of heaven on the earth. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can we just rise to our feet and ask the Lord, visit me like you visited Anna after the convention and renew my strength and get it ready for your performance. I like to put an oil in your hand and I ask you to come fast as you begin to pray for renewal. The oil shall be an oil of renewal. Please can you come? Go ahead and continue your prayers. Quickly. 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 Go forth and oil of great renewal. Watching through social media, take an oil and put it in your hand. It's your season of renewal. I see all things renewed. 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 The Lord is renewing you on every front. The renewal. That's renewal. I call for renewal of grace. Renewal of your destiny. Renewal of your expectations. Renewal of everything that is named after you. Renewal. All things renewed. Renewal. All things renewed in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and begin to pray. So, Lord, I ask for renewal. My heart is renewed for a miracle. My head is renewed for an encounter. Let everything about me become new. Every time an oil comes upon a man or woman, it becomes new. Lord, I speak newness. Newness in my blood. Newness in my cell. Newness in my bone. Newness in my name. Newness in my house. Newness in my career. Lord, I am calling forth a lot of newness. Newness in my voice. Newness in my design. Newness in my inspiration. Lord, I am commanding newness in the ninth season. I am commanding new strength, new capacity, new authority and power in the ninth season. Liga ba 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 roka pasukata Iga ba rabadu sanda Liga ba de galada And Jesus mighty name we pray That thing you've been doing And expecting result 
and it appeared not working i decree a denied season when you do them again heaven shall answer you with resolve those that have refused to answer to you in the night season they shall become open to you in the name of jesus expectation that i refuse to manifest in your life in the night season they shall become a celebrated miracle for you are sick for you are sick and the sake of god's name there shall be an outburst of new things in your family you will have nine miracles in the night moon nine miracles in the night moon the night moon is 30 days 30 days 30 days so it's like you will have one miracle in every three days your pregnancy shall be delivered and celebrated your emptiness shall be filled the night month is always a month of connectivity you shall be connected to opportunities the night miracle shall come to your way you shall increase in value you shall increase in doctor and all that god has named after you will answer to you come on tell somebody this is my night season not night nine 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 in this night season i see your light break forth you will be noticed you'll be connected and you shall manifest that's somebody this is my night season my ordained miracle moment I am expecting my miracle. Nine miracles in the month of September. Don't envy me when I'm sharing my testimonies. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Your social media. Get connected.